Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 316 of the Aspirations Challenge. Um, so I am definitely feeling a little bit overwhelmed about everything I'm trying to accomplish in this um, generation. So Malibu is family oriented. She is a dog lover. She's got the soulmate aspiration. We're trying to run a business as a vet clinic. We've got this big house that we're not even using because we spend all of our time here at the clinic. Um, and it's, it's hard. We're trying to find love. We're trying to succeed in our business. We're trying to also her, um, her wants and dreams, whatever these are, forgetting about those entirely. We barely have time for them. I wanted her to have more pets, but really we can only take care of Dodger right now. That's all we have time for. Um, so it's just, it's becoming a lot. Um, somebody in the, I think Sabrina, you suggested that we start crafting treats for money. So I did do that. Um, I had her craft a bunch of treats and we got a vending machine and put them in here. I guess once we get to level 10, we can start crafting the ambrosia treat, which sells for a really good markup. So thank you for that tip. I'm definitely going to start doing that. Uh, but like I said, we're just, um, there's just not enough time to do everything I want to do. We do have some perk points as well. Um, vet supply quality. Um, sure. Vet rush. Sure. I'm just like, just getting whatever we can because we definitely need to try to improve a little bit more. Um, I do want to spend some time in this episode looking for love because this poor girl is having a really hard time. Now she's feeling enraged, um, losing control. I'm not sure what I can do. Make another sim happy, leave a drawing for someone, extinguish a fire. Oh, and Yumi, she had her baby. Good for, good for her. Okay, we've got a naked sim who is ready to go. And, oh, they've got a dog with them. Okay, so this is Yogi. Um, unfortunately, we can only go with impatiently uh, because once again, her mood is not very good. Um, we have not been spending much time at our house at all, which we definitely need to be doing because uh, we're paying the bills over there and we're not even using it. Uh, someone did suggest that we just live here in the vet clinic and we sell the house, which I definitely would do if Malibu didn't have big plans of having a family. Um, so I'm not going to do that because we are going to have a family sooner than later. And the apartment upstairs is just simply not big enough for that. Um, okay, so we're going to listen to breathing, examine mouth. Hopefully I don't have as many issues this time as I did last time. And we are level five of the Yvette skill. No, it did it again. <laughs> I have no idea. Does anyone know why that's happening? I really need to know. Um, I thought maybe it was because the other vet was trying to treat the patient as well, but no, I don't think that's the problem. And it's, it's unfortunate because it's taking up a lot of our time. Emotional meltdown. We don't have time for that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So then we don't have to start over, but it is really frustrating when we're trying to do something. Oh, and tomorrow's Christmas. Just to add on to all the stress that we've got going on. Okay, we're going to do the treatment. I think today will be the last day that we have the clinic open and then tomorrow we'll focus on, we'll go home and just focus on some other stuff because I, I think Malibu just needs a break. Um, okay, this one we can do now, greet patient. Okay, so she is in a better mood so we don't have to greet impatiently. Emma just hasn't been acting like herself. And then also, can we get a third vet? Is that something that we can unlock? Because that would be helpful too. Um, we're going to calm. Okay, so far so good. And then, I mean, she had met her, um, she had a, this guy named Wade. He's come in a couple of times. And I was thinking that could be a potential love interest. Although we shouldn't write off Jace entirely um, as her best friend. I think that'd be kind of cute. So... Definitely thinking about that as well. Okay, please don't try to run away. 
We might actually get through this entire exam without the, the animal trying to leave. There we go. Okay. And treatment. Please don't leave. Hold on. We're almost getting through one full patient without them trying to leave. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Did not happen. Oh my god. Be uh, begin procedure. We'll just go with the exam. Oh wow, that is so annoying. It's making me not want to do this career because I it's um, it's becoming an issue with every single thing I try to do. Uh, okay, compet. Okay, Ayumi, you need to get back to work. Uh, Dodger is looking up putter, puddles. I mean, he does his best to help out around here, and I guess that's his idea of helping. Okay, now we'll do the treatment. Okay, cured sickness. Uh, good. Now we have, oh my god, we have a lot of patients waiting. <laughs> Here I thought we were going to be like almost done for the day. How do I know who's next? Um, I really have no idea. All three of these cats look the exact same. Okay, let's go with this one because I honestly don't know who's next. Uh, Doris has been looking a bit sick lately. Can you examine her? Oh, we're going in this room now. Okay. Come on, Doris. Let's check you out be mean uh okay we're going to check her chart listen to breathing <clears throat> i have a feeling oh, okay sluggish heartbeat extreme lethargy and we'll do test ears i guess okay so she has woozy kittyitis uh we're gonna give her a shot yay we did one patient without them trying to leave that is uh that is great progress and it didn't take that long so that's good i think we have time for one more um again i never know who's next this one maybe um you've already okay no we can't do that one what about now okay now we can it's hard because I feel like they should indicate who's been waiting the longest maybe they do and I'm just missing it this person looks really annoyed um, but I can't, how do I know who they came with? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's not that clear to me. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong for sure. I'm not exactly sure who's been waiting the longest. Okay, um, we're going to check chart, temperature, ears. Uh, listen to heart. Oh, and we're level six of the vet skill. So you know what? This skill does build pretty quickly, which is nice because that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, good. Um, it's only three o'clock, so maybe we can do one more. So who? I know this one's been waiting a while. We can go with this one. Uh, just a standard checkup for Lulu. Okay, that's a great name. <laughs> I love that name. I feel like things are going well around here um, so far. I mean, Malibu's, her mood is increasing for sure. We're going to give her a break after today and just focus on some other things. Okay, we're going to check chart. Take temperature. I feel like we're going to have to calm this pet as well. preventative shot because that dog is healthy okay um and i think that's gonna be it for today i mean we do have more should we go okay hold on why are you sitting here like you work here um okay grayson pet owner i'm not happy with how long we had to wait well i'm sorry i just okay hold on i think i can greet patient Okay, that's what I'll do from now on. I did not realize that you guys are probably screaming at me that entire time. You can click on the sim. I thought you had to click on their pet, but you can click on them. So I did say I wasn't going to help anymore, but um, that guy was waiting a long time and things are going pretty well. So we can just get this one done. This is Hunter. Hunter. 
Um, no, I don't want to do a treatment. I know that you can kind of guess as to what they've got, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, we need to calm. And then we can do the treatment, which is going to be a concentrate. So there we go. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to say that we're done because this was a pretty long day. Uh, and things need to be cleaned up around here. Can you actually do that? Um, demote responsibilities. I want you to clean things. <laughs> but she's not. Okay, we're going to close. Oh, that was a really good day. So we made 2,050 simoleons. Um, we are at two and a half stars. So I think we're doing really well. Um, employee report. Ayumi is satisfied. Okay, good. And we've got more perk points as well. Um, additional vet. That's the one I definitely want because that's going to help us a lot. And then we can't afford the rest. Wow, that one's 5,000. Okay, well, thanks everyone for coming. We're going to go home now because we have not been home in a long time. I think we've only been home just to see the house that we bought. And after that, we have just been living at the vet clinic. So it's definitely time to go back. All right, um, we are back at home. So we're gonna go to the washroom. I'm still getting used to this house because we honestly haven't done anything in this home. And you, me. It's good to hear your voice, Malibu. I wanted to ask if I should get to know Kaylee Rico. Um, sure. I really don't care too much. Um, and then we'll also, Ooh, who's Grayson? Grayson McIntosh. Oh, that was, again, another patient. That's a good way to meet potential love interests as well because they just kind of walk in. We don't have to go anywhere. So maybe we could chat with him. Maybe we could even invite him over. Let's invite him to hang out because she definitely needs a social life. We, we really aren't doing much. Uh, and then we'll also um, give a treat to Dodger because I don't want to ignore him. I don't want him to run away. Uh, before I started recording, I did do a whole bunch of interactions with him so that he doesn't want to leave me. Okay, Grayson McIntosh. Let's go over here and enthuse about dogs. Big surprise. Bright and day. Um, compliment outfit. Okay, I guess not. Literally all of those things just went away. See if they hit it off. Um, boast about family. I don't really think we don't really have a family to be honest. Um, ask to stargaze. That's always a good way to get to know someone. She's feeling uncomfortable, so I'm not sure if this is gonna go the way that I want it to. Um, discuss interests, gossip, and hug. Just trying to slowly build a relationship here. Um, she does want to make another Sim happy and volunteer with family. Okay, of course you do. Because uh, she is a good Sim. But I'm not sure where she's getting this whole family thing from. She is kind of on her own. Unless she means like her parents or her parent. Okay, we're going to um, do some flirting. And maybe even exchange numbers, if possible, because then he can maybe call us to go out on a date. Uh, Malibu has learned that Grayson is single. Um, I'm not seeing, oh, there's exchange numbers. Offer Rose. Okay, so this is actually going quite well. Um, what else can we do? Compliment appearance. It's already 11 p.m. I'm really not sure <laughs> if uh, we should keep doing this. I'm going to actually send him home. And we're going to go to bed. I should really get going. Yeah, you really should. <laughs> uh, and we're going to go to sleep for the first time in this bed. Um, <laughs> I mean, we've been playing in this generation for a while. Um, and she has not yet slept in her own bed. So it is good to spend a little bit of time at home. The thing is, I, I do understand the logic of selling this home, but at the same time, it's got all these big empty bedrooms, which I do think Malibu is excited to fill up with babies. And uh, 
it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to to sell the house and then just rebuy it later. And I feel like we're making enough money that we don't really necessarily have to sell the house. And today is Christmas. That is kind of depressing. We could always invite over um, um, Dom and Olive and then also Venice, who I don't even know how old Venice is now. Um, well, there she is. She is so cute in her little overalls. Uh, so yeah, we can invite over Venice, Olive and, and Dom. I imagine Dom doesn't have a whole lot of time left. Um, they are quite old. So, you know, maybe even like a, a breakfast would be a good idea in case they don't make it through the day. But uh, we're going to see how things go. I'm going to fill up this bowl. Um, what else does she want to do? She wants to schedule a date. She wants to volunteer. Um, I could see her volunteering on Christmas. Also, do we want to risk opening the vet clinic when she's not there? Um, no, I'm not going to do it because it might ruin all of our hard work. I think we need to get a little bit higher up first. Um, and then we're going to, how do we volunteer? I'm not even really sure. Uh, home? Nope. Um, tr nope. Is it under travel? Oh, there it is. Volunteer. Um, volunteer at a soup kitchen. Uh, we've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? Oh my God. No, I really don't think you should. You shouldn't have the first one. Uh, because Dom, like I said, is like on death's doorstep. I mean, I guess Dom's going to leave all of that house and the money and, and she'll be fine. Hey, I heard you became best friends with Grayson. Wait, what? Oh, but it's just friends, not best friends. Um, I'm not sure if this counts because we're not volunteering with the family. Um, or if it went away, I really don't know. Okay, we need to have some fun. Volunteering is fun and builds character. It looks like it was the opposite because she did not have fun. Uh, make another sim happy, schedule a date. You know what, let's just invite over Grayson. There's a lot going on today. I feel like we're trying to expedite this whole process of finding love. Um, also, we should check our mailbox. Oh, check for Christmas gifts. You'd think Dom would send a really good one. Um, okay, discuss world peace. Um, folded laundry from Junior Watson. That's nice. Let's give um, let's give Grayson a gift. Deep conversation. Oh, Dodger, what have you been doing? Let me guess. Rolling in bottles. <laughs> Could we ask to go on a date? I know that we're supposed to be having Christmas dinner with our family, but I mean, we should probably focus on our aspiration first. So we're not going to do that. Um, we could go out for like a dinner. We could actually, let's go to this cafe. That's a little bit easier to do. Um, I be, I've, I'm not that interested in taking my Sims out for meals just because it takes a very, very long time. Um, and really all you can do is, is talk at the table. You can't really do anything physical. So I feel like this is probably the way to go. All right. Um, so we are here on our date. We need to sit and talk, have both Sims be flirty at the same time. Um, so she is already there. Didn't take very long. Who's that? Uh, Jake Walter just freaked out because uh, there's a celebrity around. Kiss under mistletoe. Um, okay, yeah, that is the next thing we need to do. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, of course, you just walked away. Um, kiss under mistletoe. I'd like to get a photo without the guy passed out in the background. Um, okay, hold on. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. All right, that's all right. It doesn't matter. I wanted the photo with the mistletoe, but that uh, didn't happen. There we go. Um, hold hands. Uh, what else can we do? We need to sit and talk. Oh, we need to kiss passionately. So I think they need to do like the official first kiss. 
Also, this is uh, knocking something off her list of go on two dates. So we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Do we want to ask to be boyfriend? I feel like that seems really fast. Uh, Mariah, I've called to inform you that... Oh, no, I'm not doing this. Um... Okay. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, very clever. Well, there were some conditions, but one of the conditions was that there would be no conditions if you asked if there were any conditions. So there are no conditions. Okay. Um, fine by me. Let's just pretend I know what you're talking about. All right. So now we need to find a place to sit down and talk. We could just go over here. Um, sit and chat. Actually, we don't need to do that because their date is already going so well. All right, let's um, ask to be boyfriend because that will also knock off one of the things on our list. And then you guys can let me know, like, do you, are you feeling this relationship between Grayson and Malibu? Um, should we keep looking? And I think we're just going to end this date, to be honest. Um, they do have a very good relationship. Talk about marriage. Malibu would definitely go there because she wants to know what his intentions are. Okay, well, this seems to be going quite well. Um, profess undying love. Uh, I think I'm just going to end this date. And um, it did not give us the credit for our date, unfortunately. Um, oh, yes, it did. Okay, we're <laughs> good. I am just too impatient. Uh, so we did get the boyfriend knocked off and we got the one date. So I feel like we're getting a lot done in this episode. We were able to do a full day at the vet clinic. We made some good money there, increased our skill. Uh, increase our review rating as well for the clinic, um, spent some time at home. And now I think it's only like 2 p.m. So we do have time to invite the family over for um, Christmas if we want to do that. Oh, and Jace is here. Let's go talk to him. We should definitely give him a, a Christmas gift. Let's give him, um, I don't know. I don't want to give him any of that, to be honest. The horse sculpture was from her mom. The scallop shell we found on the beach. Um, I don't want to give these photos because those are important. So... <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is he's not getting um, asked for blessing to marry. No, no, we're not going to do that. He's, he's definitely not getting a, uh, a Christmas gift. Um, discuss interests. I wanted to do some like Christmas stuff, but I'm not seeing any interactions besides complain. Share Christmas spirit. Um, and we could also brighten his day, uh, compliment his outfit. I actually do like his outfit. Uh, and make funny faces. I'm trying to have fun. Maybe they could like video game or something. Yeah. What would be fun for them? I'm just trying to think here. Um, do we even own a TV? I don't think we do. Uh, <laughs> that's, that definitely throws a wrench in my plans. Uh, oh, and Dom is here. Everyone's here to see her. That's exciting. Um, let's go invite him in or them in. You know, maybe we don't need to do the, the Christmas dinner because I feel like we are spending time with everyone she cares about anyway. Um, she went on a date. Her best friend Jace came to see her. Um, and now, now Dom is here. So I, we don't really need to do the whole dinner thing. Talk about cooking. Sing about Christmas. Dom already has literally everything. So we're not going to bother with the, with giving a Christmas gift. There's nothing we could give them that they don't already have. Um, oh, we're singing. Okay. I have a feeling, like a bad feeling, that this may be the last time we see Dom, unfortunately. Um, give gifts, decorate. See, why are none of those things showing up? We did give a, a, a gift, technically. Um, you know what? Let's give the, let's give garlic noodles. <laughs> it's vegetarian. I'm sure Dom would appreciate it. And then get a, a photo as well. 
Yes, we wrapped up a plate of garlic noodles. I'm not sure if Dom is going to appreciate that, to be honest. Um, but I think we really need to go and and get our fun going because she's not having a good time, which surprises me. I mean, this has been a pretty fun day. She went on a date. Um, I'm not sure what else, what more she wants. I know that Dodger wants to have some fun. Um, lecture about drinking from puddle. This dog is a bit of a, I don't know. He's kind of bad. <laughs> I didn't want to use the B word, but Dodger is a bit much sometimes. Who's Dom talking to now? Oh, okay. I swear. Oh, he, Dom's in the house. Okay. They can do that. I don't care. All right. And then we're going to go grab some food. Grayson, uh, do you want to go out on a date at the restaurant? See, I mean, if I were to say yes to that, we would complete that first part of the aspiration. Um, I really don't know what to say to this <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, that is a good idea to complete that. But at the same time, we're kind of running out of time in this episode. So I'm going to say no, because I do need to end this part pretty soon. So I'll have Malibu grab some leftovers <clears throat> and then maybe tomorrow we'll head back to the vet. Junior, I heard you and Grayson started dating. Congratulations on landing a new boyfriend. Olive, um, this is a big foodie city. If you want to fit in, you should go to the Spice Festival. We have enough going on, um, to be honest. And I did want to get a second dog as well because she is a dog lover. I can see her having more than one. But at the moment, we just don't have time. Grayson thinks Malibu is swell and wants to become best friends. Um, it's not that I'm saying no way. It's just that I don't want to abandon our current best friend. So I am going to say no. That did actually kill their relationship a little bit. They're ro romantically, they're still doing really well, but um, their friendship isn't doing so hot. Okay, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, I really want to get your guys' thoughts and ideas on the relationship with Grayson. Are you guys feeling this? Is this a good idea? Should we keep going with that? Um, or do you guys have something else in mind? Um, yeah, I just like to get your guys' feedback. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.